Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure DevOps Services, today we are going to learn how we can create an artifact in Azure DevOps Services. In the previous video, we learned how we can create a pipeline in Azure DevOps Services. I also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic, Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide a link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn how we can use these artifacts in our project. So to create our first artifact on the Azure DevOps service, let's go to dev.azure.com. So if you are already signed into the portal, click on the uh, project for which you are going to create an artifact. I will click on this API authentication project. So here left side of the menu, click on this artifacts. So here we have to create a new artifact. We have to create a new feed first, then we will connect this feed. Click on new feed, enter the desired name of the feed. Once you enter the name of the feed, we have to choose the visibility of this feed, who can access, who can use this feed or who can reference this feed in his or project. So these are the members of my Azure Active Directory or I can choose members of this uh, my pro organization whom with I want to share this feed. Then we have to choose a scope of this uh, feed. The scope will be on this project API authentication or it will be the entire organization. Now let's click on this create button. So after creating this feed, we have to connect to this feed. So click on this. We have here, we have to choose the current feed. Then click on this connect to feed. So these are the available package managers that we can use to reference this feed inside our project. So let's go with .NET. So we have to copy this code and create a file named as nuget.config inside our uh, folder uh, where we have this .cs project file or .sln project file if we are using Visual Studio. Uh, once we create the file, then we can use this .NET Restore Digest Interactive pa uh, Package Manager. So it will re restore the package or we can uh, then we can publish this package using this .NET NuGet push. So, source is code by uh, demo feed and then API key is easy package path. We have to create the package path. So uh, this is how we create a feed on the Azure DevOps service. We can also use NuGet.exe package manager. So if you are comfortable with NuGet, you can use this NuGet package manager. If you are comfortable with .NET, you, you can use this .NET. So make sure you have installed the .NET SDK on your machine first. So once we have created this phase, let's go to back artifacts. So these are the active fields in our project. So if we want to connect a, to a new field, we click on this as I already showed you if we want to delete a feed we select the feed that we want to delete like currently we have this code by demo feed only we can create one more feed click on this create feed into the name of the feed let's say test and click on create so the feed name test is currently reserved it's because I had already created a name a test so let's make it test one click on create so this test one feed is selected either I can choose this code by demo feed or I can choose this test one. So this test one feed is selected. If I want to delete, I click on this settings button. So here I can enter the description of this feed. I can change the name of this feed. I can enable package badges, enable package retention for how many days I want to retain this package. Days to keep recently downloaded packages. I can change all those settings here. Then I can delete this field also from here. I click on this delete button. The package will be deleted. Now, if I go to my organization again, so here I have only one feed available. That's code by demo deep feed. So if I click on this deleted feeds, so I have to this test and the test one. That's why test is reserved. So I had already created this test feed and I had deleted this. 
So this is how we create a feed on the Azure DevOps service. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching.